If you're up getting the kids ready to go to school, you should know that many students will join all the other students around the world as they go to school today. The lesson is how they can get to class safely this morning. Yeah, they can hike it or bike it to school today because it is the 20th annual International Walk to School Day. KXAN's Gigi Barnett is at Hill Elementary in Northwest Austin this morning with that story. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning. That's right. Two legs or two wheels. AISD says take your pick. They want you to either walk or bike to school today. And here at Hill Elementary, in about an hour, they're all going to meet up at a church parking lot a few blocks away, and they're going to walk or bike in. Parents, teachers, and students all together because, you know, the more the merrier. AISC says right now it has about 20% of its students who walk or bike to school, but the school district, they want that number to go up more. For those 80% of the students who, uh, who, who don't walk or bike or they take the car or the bus, the school district says there are several reasons for that. It says that one big issue is that kids may live too far away and that just takes too much time. One solution, parents can drive five or six minutes away from the school and then walk their kids into class. Another barrier that, barks, a barrier that blocks kids from walking or biking is safety. So AISD has an education team that visits schools during PE classes. They teach them how to uh, cross the street safely or to give them bike lessons. There are some other things that parents can do as well to make sure that their kids walk or bike safely. We find that uh, walking in in the mornings, what, it, what we call it, it gets the jitters out. Kids are kind of amped up, you know, anxious. So that five, ten minutes of just walking kind of gets some of that energy out so they're ready to learn. Okay, so some of those things were to buy reflective gear for kids as well as make sure that they walk in groups because the more kids a uh, driver can see, the better off those kids will be. A lot of fanfare here this morning. The PE coach will warm up, warm up the kids with some calisthenics. And then Anderson High School, their marching band will be out to uh, lead the kids in with the sound of music. Now, parents just aren't sure they want their kids to do this. The district says, uh, be reassured, they are have a pilot program. It's called the Hub Program, and it gives kids a card key. They swipe that card key. It allows parents to see how many steps the kid took that morning. It also sends them a reassuring email letting them know that their kid arrived at school safely. In Northwest Austin, I'm Gigi Barnett. Back to you.